This video explains how to replace multiple values in several columns of a data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data set that we can create with lines one to three of the code. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data. And we can print this data set to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line four of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new data frame containing six rows and three columns called x1, x2, and x3. And as you can see, all of these columns contain numeric values ranging from one to six. Now let's assume that we want to replace multiple values in all of these columns. Then we first need to define which of the values we want to replace. And in this case, we want to replace the values one and three. And as a first step, we need to store these values in a new data object that I'm calling valrepl. So if you run line six of the code, a new vector object is appearing at the top right, which is called valrepl. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line seven of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector object containing the values one and three. Now, if you want to replace all the occurrences of the values one and three in all the columns of our data set, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines nine and 10. So in these lines of code, I'm using the sapply function in combination with a user defined function. And within this user defined function, I'm using the replace function. And then I'm specifying that I want to replace all the values in our vector object val repl by the value 99. So if you run lines nine and 10 of the code, a new data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data new one. And we can print this data set to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that we have replaced all the occurrences of the values one and three by the value 99. However, you can also see that the output of this is a matrix object instead of a data frame. So in case you want to keep the data frame class, you would have to convert this data object to the data frame class using the s.data.frame function. However, in the next example, I want to show you how to replace the values in only certain columns of our data frame. And for this, we first need to specify the columns in which we want to replace our values, as you can see in line 13 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm specifying the columns x2 and x3, and I'm storing the column names x2 and x3 in a new data object called call repl. So if you run lines 13 and 14 of the code, you can see that we have created a new data object called call REPL, which contains those two column names. And then in the next step, I'm once again using the sapply and the replace functions. However, this time I'm subsetting our data set based on the call REPL vector that we have created before. So if you run lines 16 to 18 of the code, another data frame called data new two is appearing at the top right and we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console. And then you can see that the values in the column X1 have been kept the same as in our input data frame. However, we have replaced the values in the column X2 and X3 by the value 99. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.